Want to bet? Then get in on the action at Sports Interaction. The Boys of Summers are back on the Diamond and March Madness is on deck. Bet pregame, live in play, or on one of our many prop bets. Sports Interaction makes it easy to deposit, play, and cash out. Head to sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. Or in Ontario, download the app now using the QR code at the bottom of the screen. 19 plus, please play responsibly. She scores! Take a moment to look up at the ceiling. You're about to bust through it. SDPN, the PWHPA and Sports Interaction. Want to bet? Presents hockey like you've never heard it before. The Noxie and Cax Show with Liz Knox and Carol Emard. <laughs> Let's get it. Go. Welcome back. You're tuned in to Noxie and Cax on SDPN. On today's episode, we get to know PWHPA rookie who represented Canada at the U18 Women's World Championship back in 2018. A product of St. Catharines, Ontario, currently living and training in Montreal and playing for Team Sonnet. Coming up, a big <laughs> Tampa win, baby. Welcome, welcome to the show. Welcome. Let's, go, let's go. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. And that, was, oh, that intro got me pumped. <laughs> <laughs> I have to try not to say Alexa too loud because I understand that you guys have an Alexa in your house. Yeah, but that's why I put my headphones in <laughs> and she was literally right there. Well, she would start telling you stories or whatever. Yeah. You're looking forward to you. To yeah. Get, yeah. <laughs> Day in the yeah. life of Alexa Vasco. And right there. So let's. That's it. Let's uh, let's start with Tampa because yeah. Cax and I weren't there. <laughs> Sad. Because yeah. as soon as I started seeing I pictures on Instagram, I was like, man, <laughs> this looks just like paradise. Tell yeah. us about your weekend and then we'll get to the games. Um, okay. It was amazing. Um, it was great because the arena was right across the street from the hotel. So we'd be just like chilling around the pool. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I guess it's time to go now for the game. And we would just get changed and walked o- walk over. Like my pregame naps were no longer a thing that weekend at all. Just um, basking in the sun. Mm-hmm. And I did not bring sunscreen nor thought it was necessary smart. to buy Real it. smart right there. So <laughs> you're pale. Girl, you're like a little bit ginger. <laughs> That's, that's another time. That's a different story. Uh, and Cax is laughing. No, but yeah, I got burnt, but it was great. It was so much fun. Like, and it was just good vibes all around. And did you see our outfits? That was that was cool. I, I will say that Team Sonnet kind of like stepped it up. This we won in that department. We won in that department. That. Yeah, you actually, guys bring the fun. Um, who within your own team won the outfit of the day? Could you pick one? You think? I honestly couldn't pick one. There were so many. Like people had full suits. Like, yeah, shorts, yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw the pictures. Like it was, it was great. And we were like, we, yeah, walked as a group. That's cool and it was too. I haven't like, seen that. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, you get off the bus, but they walk from the hotel, Noxy, <laughs> straight across the street. Um, and then Heather was losing her mind trying to take the pictures of everyone. <laughs> she was like on the ground, like on the ground, like this. <laughs> Heather yeah, Pollock. Like, she's she's amazing. We'll have to. Uh, perhaps on this episode on our YouTube channel, we'll put up some of these pictures some because edit. yeah, they're sick. Like bucket hats looked like vacation yeah. dad vibes. <laughs> Did you see everyone my sunglasses? Was just, just like open the, buttons, like viper sunglasses. Sunnies. Like everyone looked really, really good. And <laughs> Did you rock the pit vipers Vasco? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Gonna go out and buy you. You need old a mallet or something that. and then That's comes with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do have a mullet, so hey, you should back. pitch mullet that to Sonnet, You know, like <sighs> playoffs are around the corner. Little uh, playoff vibes. Hey, we'll hey, so is yeah, Sonnet we'll bleaching their hair? Guess, I feel so like that's cool. something that could happen. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll run it by. I'll run it by our leadership group. <laughs> oh my god! I can see Niter. I can like, see Abby Rock. Bleach blonde. Yeah. Well, Abby Rock too, yeah. It's lots of dark hair gals on Team Sonnet. Yeah, yeah. Cole Hensley. That's a you lot of hair Hensley? too. <laughs> oh wow! No, this isn't going to end. I can just tell you. Let's do it. If you can, okay, so, I think that's a good idea. Vasco. Yeah. Like yeah, gel you don't it have up. To cut it. Just slick it. Slick it back. Right earlier. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. like a fake mo- fake a mullet. A full. Yeah. A full. <laughs> I like that. Is this a thing? <laughs> okay, and you guys, yeah, I did want to talk about the game because. 
You guys won. Like, first win in a little while. (laughs) When you're you're at that point where you know exactly how many days it's been since you last. Like, who knew this? You all did? I'm surprised. I'm (laughs) surprised. Yeah, like Abby counted, and I'm like, whoa, I can't even count that high, first of all. (laughs) And I was like, oh my gosh, it's been 112 days, and she whips up the puck. She's like, yeah, look, I got the puck. And it says, first win, 112 days, and we brought it everywhere. And that's that's the puck that we're keeping that with our mullets. But, like, you guys have all the pieces. All pieces, no puzzle. I told you that. (laughs) You know, Vasco's going to have so many little one-liners like this, guys. Listeners, please meet the purest human I've known. <laughs> like everything will say it's true, though. Oh I will agree. You, I thought, and I said this after our Christmas time, I said in the show, I think Sana is going to step it up and they're coming and they're, they're going to show up. Like the offense, like the players you guys have, everything, like you should be scoring a lot more, Vasco, without being... Yeah. And like so deep, like you guys are like, strong yeah. in all three zones. And like, I will say the goalies are playing extremely good whenever, like, I mean, we like last game yes. I, I played in Collingwood. It was like a really tough game, too. And Nicole and Maddie, oh, wait, am I? No, Maddie is running. That's it. And uh, they were playing, like, they, Nicole has been unreal. Like, she's been tired, I think, too, here and there. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, like, she gets peppered a little bit. Head, so, yeah. Maxi, you, you tell me how that feels, but like, I don't know. No, I mean, all three goalies are studs. Like, Howie, Browning, Hensley. Mm -hmm. Like, those are three great goaltenders. And they've been playing well. I know. The pieces are coming together, though. Don't worry. You're going to have a full puzzle by the end of this year. I I I, feel that. I've said it. We're peaking in LA. Yes. Win one game. (laughs) Boom. Palm Springs. Palm Springs, baby. (laughs) For the ship. For the Um, ship. So before yeah, we'll get back into like PWHPA action a little later. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about growing up? You were born in St. Catharines. Mm-hmm. And of course, we were back. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. My dog is scratching himself violently right now. <laughs> That's okay, buddy. Um, we were back there. Yeah. In St. Catharines at the Meridian Center, hosted by the, by the Niagara Ice Dogs, 4,300 fans. So what was that like for you? Oh, it was crazy. I remember like looking in the stands and I was like, Oh my gosh, there are, however, whatever, 4,301 times two, there's that many eyes looking at us right now. (laughs) (laughs) His eyes looking at us. Let's go. Like there's, there's that many eyes right now. And it was just incredible. Like the amount of signs that, that people had, like there's people in boxes I remember, I remember vividly because I was starting. So I was on the blue line and I remember looking up at one of the boxes and seeing my grade one teacher in the box. That was so Come cute. Come on. Yeah. And it was her birthday that day. And I like looked and I was like, this. I was like <laughs> <laughs> you could probably see it on the stream. I'm like, hey. And she's like, See, the reenacting is starting. That's fun. I was going to say, like, not only That's was incredible. it like 4,300 yeah. fans, but I'm betting. You know, not half of these people were your family, but lots of them might have been from family or friends or people, again, you went to school with. Like, how was that, too? Did you oh, have yeah. a little uh, get together after just at the rink and people telling you how great it was? Yeah. So leading up to the leading up to the game, my dad would keep texting me. So and so is coming. So and so is coming. My cousin's brother's son's <laughs> nephew is coming. And I'm like, you I said, Dad. You need to stop because I just I don't want to know how many people are there. <laughs> I don't want to know. So he's like, okay, sure. So, but then, um, I, yeah, I had so many fa- like so much family. We, um, I think the Niagara Ice Dogs. I think uh, we were fortunate enough to get a box from them. So it was right above our bench. So my family was filling the box. Um, again, teachers, old friends, my best friend who I haven't seen in That's years. That's cute. I love that. Was there. And Aww. it was awesome. I remember I, I was getting off the bench from warmups. My grade four <laughs> teacher was at the thing like, Hi. like, oh my gosh. Like, oh my God. I All these teachers are just great yeah. students, so I guess. They're like, man, she finally yeah. made it out. Of that. 
No, it's because I go back oh, and visit them when I was in elementary school because I, I like I just I love them and I always visit and they're like yeah we're coming. Um, so, okay, yeah, so we made a joke so out of it, but he's actually a good human and <laughs> you go and visit. We were saying like the teachers <laughs> were happy you made it out of elementary yeah, school. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What are they? Yeah. I did make it out of elementary school. Look at, school, so look at that mug. You rock, Vasco. <laughs> I rock. Okay, that's you awesome though. Rock. That's really cool. So how did how, where did this all start? How did like how did you get into hockey? Do you have siblings? Like yeah, how did you find really, great. your love um, for the great game? Yeah, so I'm the oldest. I have one younger sister. So it sort of started I actually started playing uh soccer wow. and gymnastics. <laughs> um mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> in my leotard yeah for, i don't see it but that's so, a that's a um, we need a picture maybe i'll I do. figure it out um i don't even think my parents took pictures you're getting into like, that oh hockey God. equipment asap <laughs> <laughs> yeah so no my dad like my dad's family's um hockey family like his uncle his dad he played hockey um so i would always just go with my mom when I was like really, really young to watch his, I guess, beer league at this point, um, just watch him play. And then I remember they took me, I think it was my grandpa's friend's backyard in the rink and they had the blades yeah. with the two like little things. Oh yeah. And there's like a picture yeah, of me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I should send it to you. I have, it. I have like a mushroom. I have a mushroom <laughs> bicycle helmet on, <laughs> not even a hockey helmet. It's like, I look like a toad from Mario Kart. <laughs> And I have like this snowsuit and I'm just like this. <laughs> and that's how I started. And Aww. so that's right. And then, um, yeah, I started playing house league probably when I was five and six. I played that mm-hmm. for two years with the boys. Um, and it was kind of tough because I was like kind of good. And they didn't like, <laughs> and they, did, and then well, they, they really didn't tough. like it. So, yeah. <laughs> no, and they didn't like it at say- all. Like, I remember my second year playing house league. I scored the overtime goal and we were all so excited. And I was like, yeah, we won. And they On were their like own? celebrating with Aww. themselves. What? Your own team? Well, it was fun. But then like I, I scored. So we won the championship. And oh, it, you're being too. Great, but they like, could have jumped on you was, and said, yes, let's go. Good job on scoring and everything. But they didn't is what you're saying. I don't even know if my name was Vasco. That's <laughs> I was just Alexa. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, and you're an, a 96, right? Are you 96? No, I'm a 99. <laughs> oh, God. She's almost a 2000. I can't. Yeah. You could almost be my child. That's crazy. A 99. So this is not that long ago. Like, Cax and I were probably 99. In high no, I wasn't, but you were. <laughs> no. <laughs> You thought I was a 96? Well, we're giving you a little bit of, yeah. I don't know. You seem mature. You're mature you know I didn't even age. know what year. Thanks. I guess it makes sense because you're, you're in your yeah. first year, so I should have put COVID that back and together. Everything. But you know what? It's a long time I'm the ago. mathematician. I told she you. She keeps the days, yeah, exactly. so she knows exactly. Okay, wait. Okay, so you played house league four or five years old on the men's or boys' side, sorry. Did you join then um, like a women's league or like a girls' team after that? Like Ontario is like loaded with yeah, girls so, leagues and stuff like that. So that's why I'm yeah. assuming you went straight there after. Yeah. So after my two years of housing with the boys um, on my one team, um, one of the boys sisters was playing like was playing rep and it was called right now. They're the St. Catharines or the Brock Badgers or the St. Catharines. Yeah. Badgers. Yeah. Back then they were called St. Yeah. Catharines chaos. Um, so they were like, Hey, you should probably come and try out for this. Like you'll make it. But I was super, super young. It was Adam. So I don't know what age Adam is. Nine, 10. I think it's, I know, it's very confusing for 11, me. Since they really changed it all. Okay. And I was seven. No. Yeah. It's younger than that. I think it's like, so you. then I was seven and I really didn't, I didn't know what rep hockey was. I didn't know you did. You traveled and stuff. I just was to show up to the rink half dressed every day. <laughs> <laughs> so a um, little Vasco. Yeah, because I couldn't get changed. In the, yeah. you still do that, don't you, Vasco? <laughs> yeah, I do. I come in my gitch. She's <laughs> <laughs> witty. <laughs> um, um, so no. So then I tried out uh, for Adam, but I was super young, so my dad really didn't think anything no. of it. But then I ended up making it. So then I ended up playing Adam, I think, for three or four years. Yeah. And then- because I was so young. So I played St. Catherine's Chaos 
from Adam okay. to minor Bantam. To and then my major Bantam year, that's when I went to Stony Creek. And my major Bantam year, I bumped up to Midget to play Stony Creek because they were hosting the ESO Cup that year. And so I was like, okay, nice. I'm going to be a part of that. And that was, yeah, that was really cool. That was like my first taste of Championship. being in the national spotlight. That's itself. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you just played in the two organizations growing up then? Yeah. That's amazing. I, I've stayed at St. Catharines for the longest. Like, again, I will say that Adam Stony Creek is, a, and I, we mentioned it here before, but they've been, you know, producing quite a bit of players that ends up like in the NCAA or the national programs here and there and stuff. So uh, shout out to them. But I played with a couple yeah. of them that came from Stony Creek, the Mel DeRocher that you might know, Vasco. And uh, yeah, she did. She played See, Stony way, Creek? Way, way before you, though, so- because 99... Uh, this is like, I mean, she's not that old, but uh, yeah. So, and you know, Kelly uh, Sabatine and a bunch of them that came uh, through the through the ropes in at St. Lawrence and stuff. So, I just feel like Stony Creek is a great program. There's so many. I mean, from the PWHL, I believe it was called. Now it's called the. I think they changed the name yeah. too, didn't they? Like, it's U22 now or something. Yeah. The what, yeah, sir? Yeah, you, you Vasco? It's I U twenty two elite. U twenty two elite. Okay, so just so we named them the right thing back in our days, it was called the PWHL, which is now very close yeah. to the PWHPA. <laughs> so we don't want to mix that up. But yeah, no, I, I think that uh, the produce there it, are those programs are just producing such great players, and I I get it. I, you had a chance to stay home, right? I I know a few people that actually you know billet like they were living with a billet family. And then getting out of the mm-hmm. places, like if you're from far up north or even East Coast, like Jail Sonia, when we had her on the show, uh, live with a bit and played for some, if even, I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Pretty sure. I was just going to say, like, even in the GTA, like, I don't, Vasco, I don't know what it was like, like in your high school days, but it seemed like girls, and I don't know what, the, I, don't, <laughs> I don't have a pulse on this now because I'm way out of that game, but like, it seemed like girls would just hop organizations in the GTA, like, every year almost and i just that's why i, I kind of pointed out that you play for two organizations because mm-hmm. i i love that like i love i mean it's minor hockey right like if you're good yeah. enough and you're playing good exactly. hockey you're gonna get noticed whether you're on a 500 team or a number one team like yeah that's kind of how i think about it but yeah people think like oh i'm gonna switch organizations because i'm gonna get more ice time here yeah. i'm gonna you know i'm gonna be on the first power play on this line it's like you're you're fucking 13 man like, yeah. just enjoy the game like yeah be a I kid remember my enjoy the game. saying like you like, could go to arrows or you could go elsewhere or like know. yeah like they always called them i don't i don't know like, i guess you call them a suitcase like he didn't want that to <laughs> be me right and i did get noticed from the stony creek midget coach from st Catharines, and i know like some people are like oh you play for st Catharines," and i'm like i'm literally 11 <laughs> i'm like yeah i do <laughs> i do what's up and they're like oh and i'm like i'm having fun and yeah. then stuff happens see like i love that because you didn't get into or you didn't get involved into the pressure of you know being playing or playing for programs that maybe have the most like ncaa or whatever it was like st Catharines. you were having fun you were still having fun your parents kept it fun i think that's a good i think that's a good for it right yeah you're 11 years old don't even start And, and i will say too a big factor for me is i was super super involved in soccer as well Mm. like high level soccer, like in the, like in the provincial league. So it was summertime was soccer for me Good. and wintertime was hockey. As it should but be. I like, I stayed, yeah, I stayed in St. Catharines because well, when I was younger, there was no such thing as like summer training, like soccer was just, whatever, whatever. I would just go play soccer. And then when I was done playing soccer, I'd go play hockey. But when I started going to Stony Creek and getting more serious and saying like, okay, I can actually, like my dreams were, were to make the national team, were to get a scholarship. I was like, okay, I need to pick one or the other. So that's why I picked hockey because during the summer, yeah. that's when we started training. And I can't, I, I'm like, I can't right. do both. But when I was younger, I was every single sport, even in yeah. high school. I played badminton. badminton <laughs> actually. Bring them. What else did you do that's, in high school? That's hard, man. I, I played badminton too. It's not an easy sport. No, it's so tiring. But especially like for hockey players, because we're so like aggressive minded and so much more of badminton is strategy. And, like yeah, playing so a smart my, shot yeah, versus just smashing thing. it. Okay, so I was not the best at that. 
I was not the best at that. I would just smash it. But my, my <laughs> technique was like, you just got to stay on one foot and pivot. So I would just oh. spin the entire time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. It worked, and out. it worked out. Uh, yeah, so I played so many sports. Damn. I'm a champion, not a big deal. Is that like an offset thing? You didn't win offset, did you? Oh my! No. <laughs> <laughs> what is offset? No, it's like a big that. thing in the. Oh, oh provincial oh, oh. champion. Wait, yeah, it's like it was just your grade, yeah, yeah. your grade high school type of thing. You, you won yeah. basketball. No, <laughs> she actually just won PE class. No, <laughs> well, I that anyways. No, but in elementary, elementary, school, in there elementary she goes. school, I no. Oh, okay. no, I started badminton in elementary, okay. then I went to high school. But in elementary school, I went the entire like district, the entire okay. district, like, the whole the whole board, like was, the region, <laughs> no more than the region, <laughs> like the, the whole elementary the whole school, school across board. Ontario. Damn. Yes. Okay. Wow, okay. We'll give you the credit. So that's impressive stuff. Badminton yeah, player, soccer player, I chooses rock. hockey. Yeah, you rock. <laughs> Chooses hockey. Rock. Okay, let's get to to that or back to that. So you're now joining the Stony Creeks, and then obviously, as you get recognized, this is when or around the age of you get the chance to go to you know make Team Ontario and go to the Canada Games or the uh, Canadian Championship. Um, how was that? Like the feeling of knowing or that you could go represent your province. Um, and and play for team yeah. red or team so blue but it, you made team red if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. yeah so the first year the first year so i played two years the first year i was okay. blue the second year i was red so, go, blue. Uh, go blues get back too yeah, i love blue. it <laughs> <laughs> i was blue <laughs> uh so i knew like again once i was like getting more involved in hockey i knew team ontario right. was like my first goal i was like okay i can't make team canada if yeah. i can't make team ontario logically so i knew that was going to be my first my first step to be there so i remember like getting the email like i'm going to the going to the camp i was like okay this is great like fitness testing whatever uh make the team and then the one with blue my very first year was in huntsville so it was in ontario nice so that was really really fun we uh we i think we got bronze that year Okay, um, that's respectable. Yeah, it was su it was super fun. Like it was my first it was my first time. Well, we I was at the SO Cup yeah. the year before. But like that was with Stony Creek, so this was like the first time on like yeah. this big national stage. So that was super super fun. And then the next year I was in Regina, Saskatchewan. Um and I was on team red and then we won uh Cax I, I, I think It's usually what happens. It's a Imperial like, Red versus Quebec in semis or finals or whatever. It was fun. I lost to Ontario Red it was, it was both really times fun. that I went to. Stupid freaking team. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but Augusta yeah. just made the I'll Olympics and comes back and joins the U18's Ontario team. I'm like, what are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that it was a pretty damn good team too back then. So I, I, Ontario is producing lots of very good players. Um, that's why you guys are we, good. We so I strong, give you, like I'll give you the credit. Oh, like we had Emma, like Malte, yeah. Ashton Bell, Amy Poneman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we were. Just, yeah, <laughs> That's say. good. That's yeah. fun too. And then, um, then you went off to after winning. Okay, I'll give you the credit. Good for you, champ in 2017 or 16, 16, right? 16, six. And then you 16. go off to the U18s for Team Canada after that, correct? How was yeah. that yeah. summer? Um, so, oh, <laughs> great. Um, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> gosh, I love you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the before, so the nationals are, I think, November, yeah. October, somewhere in the fall, but then that summer, that's when I was invited to, oh, okay, perfect time. Okay. So that's when I was invited to my, to my first U18 camp and I'm sitting in the dressing room, like, basically crapping my pants because we have all this fitness testing. I'm like, Oh my gosh, I have to do so well. Um, I want to make this team, my first national team. There's so many people here. I'm sitting in the dressing room and you know how we have those teams. You split up yeah. into teams and, Red and white. Yeah. So I'm sitting in the dressing room and who walks in? Oh Corral. Corral walks in. <laughs> do you remember? This is good. Keep going. I forgot remember? about this. 
Yeah, I coached, I coached U18s, U18s, U22s, and oh, the senior so team, actually. She could have she could have been on any other team. I could have coached any other team. Uh, for the camp. I was coaching, coaching with Delaney. And I'm 17, and I'm crapping. Yeah, I'm crapping my drawers because I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, I have so much I need to do. I'm so nervous. <laughs> and she picked me. I picked wow. you. Wow. That's where this, this blossoming you know what? I friendship about that started. Basco. I forgot very much so. No, you were my, like, I always say this, you're my, you're on the other first, side of the ring. Like, U18 camp, camp yeah, coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So I was coaching with Delaney Collins. Uh, and, uh, was it, Br- who was the other assistant coach? Can't remember, but it was like, Brittany, Brittany mm, Smith, maybe? My, I think she yeah, was against Smith. me. I don't think they put us together. They didn't put the St. Lawrence girls together. But, <clears throat> I, I don't remember, but Delaney was our yeah, assistant yeah, coach. Yeah, she was year. the head coach. I was going to say, she was yeah, she this, recruited she? a bunch of you yeah, guys, was, too. Look at this connection yeah. here. She recruited me, but she was our assistant coach. She was our assistant coach in Prague. Troy was our head coach. Okay. I forget who our other assistant coach was. Meaning, it was in Brody? It'll come back to me. And was she at Mercyhurst at the same time? I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but was she okay. at Mercyhurst while you were there? No, she was gone no, by then. The, day, the, the year I went, that was the year she left. Great coach. So I, love the, yeah. I love that. Actually learning from her too. And she's fun, emotional, whatever. Like it's a, it's a good human there. Yeah, and then she great. was at Mercyhurst for many yeah. years too. And got a lot of like class, like, a, like good players into that school as well too, uh, to come and, and I, recruit them there. So. And where was that Worlds uh, that you when you played U18? Oh, Prague, Czech Republic. Oh, it was Prague. And okay, nice. How was your experience there? The first time there, obviously, I assume. Oh, yeah, it was great. Um, we we did end up losing in the final, which was heartbreaking. Yeah. Um, it's tough. But it was, it was nice because my family, like Vasco, that's – it was Czechoslovakian, then they split up. Um but that's sort of where my grandpa's family is oh. from. Like they're obviously not alive anymore. So he was like, Oh my, he was bawling when he found out I made it. And it was in the check. Cause he's like, Oh my Aww. gosh, I'm coming. Aww. So he came, he came, he got like a Come Jersey on. and like, he got like a, f- a flat hat Aww. with like a flat brim. I'm like, Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> so he's rocking, he's rocking the flat hat. I don't, I don't know if that's what you call it, but he loved it. Like walking around, like down, I don't know, downtown Czech Republic. Like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> d- yeah, down, to, yeah, Prague, like cobblestones everywhere, like little huts where you can just get like big goods, like, I don't know, sausage. Aww. It was like they loved it. My grandpa loved it. That's and, cool. Yeah. That's so it, fun. It was a good experience for them too and my family because yeah. they were able to see sort of where And you're not saying from. it, but you went from, yeah. you know, what you said where the words are almost shitting your pants that testing the first year ever and doing it all, making the team and being the assistant captain for that U 18s. If I'm not mistaken, am I correct? Okay. So give, give yourself a little bit of credit here. You know what I mean? Like, Basco, I feel like where you, I feel like wherever you've been, you end up in the leadership role. And I think that's something that our listeners will, will grasp as the, the episode goes. But I think that says, you know, a lot about you and, where you're at and then why, you know, hockey is so important to you and why the teams are important as well too. So I don't know. I just want you to get the credit a little bit there. And, you know, you went from U18. Yeah. I don't really like talking about myself. (laughs) (laughs) I like it. That's okay. We'll give you the the credits and everything. Don't worry. Um, So you went to the U18s, obviously uh, heartbreaking finals or, you know, we don't want to go over that game by any means, but I think it's a great, uh, you know, you made it to the final and you need to be proud of that by any means. And then you end up in the whole, have you, were you committed by then or did you choose your school after coming back and stuff? Cause that's really late, right? You would have been like, no, I was, committed, I was like yeah. back in the day where people were committing at 13 years old. I think that's when you were. Yeah. I was like 12. Jesus. I was like 12. I was like, no, I was not 12. <laughs> Maybe 14. Pretty close, though. Well, like, we wouldn't even talk to schools till we were like 17, 18. 18 is when. I think I was in grade 10. Oh. That's pretty early. Two. So, yeah. did you have options or were you just like, boom, Hearst, let's no, do it? I, I had options, but a big thing for me was I knew I wanted to be close mm-hmm. to home. Yeah. 
because I knew I wanted my parents to come and watch the games. And I mean, whether I'm in eight hours or two and a half hours, like they're not going to come and visit me every day. So I was like, okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Mercedes was like two hours. Well, when I'm driving, it's like two hours, but when my dad's driving, <laughs> it's like two twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Feel lead foot on you, eh? Oh yeah, I get stuck sometimes, so that sucks. <laughs> Jesus. Um, no, it's a pretty yeah. easy drive down. though. To oh, Erie. so yeah, like, like it's literally just straight down. Like you're on. It's so so easy. So yeah, they would come to every home game yeah. when they could. Sometimes awesome. away games if it was close, but mostly mm-hmm. every home game. And yeah, I just like the. For me, I didn't want to be in like a huge like lecture hall where it was 300 people and they didn't yeah. care if you mm-hmm. showed up. Well, in my major, I had classes of like six or seven. So what? I had I had some classes oh, like yeah. that so too. The, yeah. So when you didn't show up, it was like, where's you can't say, can say it. Where's off. Vasco? The thing's gonna go off. <laughs> no, but the thing's gonna go off. The Amazon's gonna go off. But yeah. So where's oh Vasco? So like, I had to show up every day. That's good accountability, but I guess. I still, I still like did, but like the thing is too, like we created a relationship with our professors. Yeah. Like go to their office hours if we needed to. Like we would see them at your like, games and stuff like it that. Was great. Too. We were like best. Yeah, our ga- That was the thing too. Um, they would yeah. come to all of our games because it was such a small campus. They're like, and I remember one of our professors every Friday would be like, "Okay, there's like five of us." So we, but he's yelling. I don't know why. We're all in front row, <laughs> but he's like. He's like, hey, who plays this weekend? And everyone's like, me, 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 because everyone was like athletes. So then he would like plug everyone. So oh my class. That's so amazing. That's sweet. Yeah. And you were yeah. you were unfortunately there during COVID and stuff, but like your entire experience, um I think hockey wise went well. Noxie's gonna get to the stats later on or whatever, but you decided to major in exercise science and kines- kinesiology, right? And yeah. look at that, yeah. not bad. It's a big word. Big word for a French girl here. That's a, that was really yeah. good, Cass. Yeah. I can't even say it. <laughs> Tell me more about I, I get it, the small school. I went to St. Lawrence, you know, like not too far from home. I'm like similar to that exactly. But what was so cool about Erie, Pennsylvania for you to this is my this is my home. This is this is where I want to be. Like what 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 okay, kind of so. got your heart here, you know? Well, I wasn't, I wouldn't say it was so much Erie, <laughs> Pennsylvania. Good, that really good. That's, that's the answer I wanted, you know. Grabs me in, like Erie, PA, like holy. Good, I wanted to clarify yeah, that, like, Vasco. Oh, Thank you. Keep going. Yeah, simmer down. No, it was not. No, it's it was probably the team, Erie, PA, the people, like, oh. the coach. Okay, yeah. Eva- elaborate there. So Let's I go. knew, yeah. So again, close to home, I knew I wanted, yeah. I wanted to be close to home. Um, and then two, I remember, well, so back then I'm trying to think when my freshman year was 26, 2017, 2017 freshman year. You were like halfway through your career back then. (laughs) My career was long over by then. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry guys. I don't mean to date you, but I think I won the Clarkson cup. Maybe you did. I can't remember. (laughs) Go, go Vasco. Sorry. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. So I remember. Wait, 17 your freshman year. About? Sorry. We got you off track. I apologize. And you're trying to remember probably no, who totally the players fun. were. Oh, I think. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. I got you. So back 2017, it was, so we were in the CHA college hockey America. It like Mercyhurst was. Yeah. I mean, the team you ended my, my seasons a couple of times. I will say that that's uh, like mercy was always a threat for sure. Yeah. So, I mean, now like the team is doing well now, I think they're actually, I'm going to plug them. They're playing, um, on Saturday, the championship. Nice. Let's go. They changed the playoff format. So tune in everyone. Let's go (laughs) Hurst. Yeah. So call them Mercer. We called them. (laughs) (laughs) Keep going. So, anyways, back then it was like Mercier's. Like that's the team. So I knew I knew they had a good uh, like team culture and everything. And then I know our coach. Um, he was the coach, (laughs) the only coach. Um, (laughs) and it's been there for a while. (laughs) Silly. He has he has a really good resume and stuff. And then I remember looking at the players like Megan Augusta, Bailey Brand, Shelby Graham, yeah. other players. I was like, I was like, 
hey, okay. And they were obviously like super interested in me and obviously and talk and stuff. Like, and I, like, <laughs> yeah. Stop the love. Oh my God. I rock. <laughs> you rock. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. No. Um, um, no. So in uh, the campus, like I didn't want to go to yeah. a huge school where yeah. I had to bus to classes or moped to classes. Like I would literally in the morning, my class would be at like eight o'clock. I would roll over at like seven fifty two and just put something on and walk <laughs> out the door. <laughs> And I would show up on time and I wasn't even late, even if we had five people in our <laughs> Good class. for you, Vasco. That's amazing. That's good. And then, yeah. And then your career, uh, Maxi, walk us through a little bit of her uh, yeah. late career. Well, I was looking at your stats and good stats, good stats overall. But Where did the you one that impressed most? me There's the most, no <laughs> the one that impressed me most, okay, 156 games played, 184 blocks. You're in- so you're blocking a shot and a half a game almost. <laughs> Yo, know, even if I tried, I'm flamingoing, I'm going down, I'm doing anything. I would never. Like the I girl's a centerman. Like, you you played center in college too. How'd you, you block so yeah. many? You just stood there, wing, and that did not go well. You just stood there, and like I mean, Pooh does block well, a lot of shots. Right, right, right. Centers do it. Like, I, well, I will say, like Cax, if you no, I tried her, everything. Like with her, with our with our coach. Like you would not be playing the next. Like it was like if you flamingo. Okay. There was a prize. Okay, this, so there was something the attached ice. to the fact of blocking shots that was very rewarding within yeah, your culture. I, well, I, I don't. I yeah, I felt like I didn't have a choice. Like, I was trying to like, put it the other way. But we go. Like if I got out of the way, it was like keep going because you're going back okay. on the bench. <laughs> Just go right to the oh my god! So like flip your game going on Okay, your one so it explains the, the 184 sh- blocks. I I think that's impressive. You you're saying that's not impressive. that much like great on the stats. I think you did awesome. I think you had like the points and the goals, and you can do it all. In my mind, Alexa, you're like a very yeah. strong 81 points in 156 games. So you're half point per game, which is like that's you're a like great stat. you're like a, a stable like a. Yeah, safe centerman that will do the work defensively and offensively. Your shot can like actually surprise so many goaltenders, and they don't know yet. You know what I mean? Like this year, you've been scoring a ton too, and you're doing great with the P dub. So it's not all about goals. Noxie would love the blocks. You so. scored. You scored in your first PWHPA in game Montreal. This year, did you not? Yeah, by accident. <laughs> Walk us through it. Tell us how it was by accident. Well, okay, like I shot it on purpose, but the puck came to me by wow. accident. Wow, it was a hard shot. It, Give yourself a little on. bit of credit. Oh. No, what game okay. were you watching? The puck. <laughs> Maybe it was your second goal. Went off like I, I come off the bench, and it was like again puck <laughs> magnet, but opposite. <laughs> the puck, like the puck hits the glass and ricochets right back on my stick. It was like a gift from God. <laughs> <laughs> and you took it it. On, and I was on mash and I just literally whacked it. Hey, a puck on net is and always you a good shot option. it. So that's a go. Don't don't self yourself short short here. So let's let, let's talk a little bit about kind of your experience here in the PWHPA. It's your first year, as we said in the intro, which is so fun for us to have a rookie on because if you're here in year one, like the girls that have been around for the four years, it's like, oh man, we've come so far. But this is like your first taste of post-college hockey. So first we'll talk about kind of what it's been like for you to play with some of these names. As you alluded to when you went to Mercier, it's like names that you've watched growing up, you know, uh, on the U.S. and Canadian on both sides. What's it been like to play with some of these players? Oh, it's been incredible. I remember seeing the rosters when they first got announced and I was like, Oh my gosh. Like I'm not touching the ice. I'm just I kidding. better not. Yeah. I no, I was like, no, I was like, I better not suck. <laughs> Positive I love it. Yeah. <laughs> this is Vasco for you right here. Yeah. Um no, but it's it's been great. And again, like you said, watching the people on TV and it's like, okay, well, I'm not only sharing the ice with them, but I'm also on the same team with them. Yeah, you're their line mates now. Yeah. So I was like, oh my gosh. So it's, yeah, it's been great. And I remember meeting them for the first time. I was like, obviously like a little bit nervous, but we've just all become friends and 
Yeah, it's great. I never thought in a, like in a million years I'd be friends with some of these people. And it was like, the, it was the first thing too. Like when I went to my first like senior camp, I was even more nervous when I met before, like I met Cax. Like I was even more nervous than that. <laughs> As you should. The cast is a pretty big star, but Teal, if you walk in the national team's locker room, then then you can get the No, but like it, it's it's a surreal experience when you watch people on TV and yeah. you put people on a pedestal and you put them as your role models and then you're almost like, well, in that situation you're competing for a spot with them or your your teammates yeah. with them. It's like, oh my gosh. So yeah, it's Yeah, and great. then right now in the and the Senate team, like you get to Again, you watch a few of the Americans and the Canadian. You get to share the ice, like you're saying, but you also get to like yeah. know them a little bit more, like the locker room vibes, right? Which is always like exactly, yeah. It's not. It's yeah. it's a different. Like we get it. Like we often, what happens when you retire is like you miss the locker room more than you miss the ice. Mm -hmm. So like that thing of like, I think Team Sunnets got it the most. I love my team Harveys. I think we're great. We're awesome. We're having fun. We're the, the, the cute love. We love to be around each other, but Sana is like stepping it up into the, the, the ones I would say like could be classed as the most fun, like the fun there back then, Noxy, maybe. Yeah. But I, you guys know I feel like Sana connected and, and kind of like brought it to the next level. I will say we do have a, we do have a very, very good time. I have a question. Is there anybody on your team or, or on a different team? that like surprised you oh, that's good. Like, that you had an idea of what they were their personality would be like and then you met them and you're like oh completely different for let's go yeah, for good reasons <laughs> i don't want to be sl like slandering anybody here like that you for, maybe like, watch from afar or like uh, maybe an american or maybe a canadian that you never like, played for like, or yeah like even like hillary knight like she's just somebody that like we, we know in like the media and then like you actually like, get to play on her team and you like kind of know her personality a little bit more was there anybody that surprised you <laughs> i will say i think hannah brandt's hilarious and i like, i can see that i just thought she was like quiet you can say it you thought she was like, maybe a bitch or no <laughs> okay. Okay. no no i just thought she was quiet and i didn't really know her not a bitch <laughs> No, no, Hannah. Fish bowl was like maybe you know too much, too serious, no, too no, everything. No. Um, but then yeah, we just hit it off and like our one liners together. I can see Cax. it. I can actually see it. Yeah. No, but it's great. Yeah. So I, I would say she surprised me. Like I knew Abby Rock was a riot. Abby yeah. Rock, so she. Really it's like anyone you, oh, everyone knew Abby Rock. I feel like before you even get to. You'd like see her on the ice, and we said this, Knox, in our in our episode. Vasco, maybe you you'll tag along here, but you see her on the ice. She's intense. She's crazy. Like she wants to win, like at all all costs, basically. And then in the locker room, it's almost like it's a it's a new person, but you you can feel that. Like you see her, she's way too intense on the ice, not to be a fun girl off the ice type of thing. Like yeah, yeah, balance. Yeah, I think for me too, like. I, for me to play my best, I need to have fun. I can't, mm. I, there, I can be, I can be serious, but I think for me, there's a yeah. fine line. Cause if I'm too serious, you're in your own head. I'm, maybe. I'm in my own head. So that's why I think Sonnet's like perfect. Like we're always, we're joking, but we're also serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, so that's a good fit. Yeah. We, and we've talked about that a little bit before too, where like people operate on different frequencies pregame. Like, I was like you, Vasco. I'm like, if like, I just want to be around the team and like cracking jokes and making fun of myself and whatever, like it's all good, <laughs> you know, like just kind of enjoying the atmosphere. But then there's other people who like, just like to get in their own zone, like block out the world, completely dialed in focus. Like, I don't know what they're doing <laughs> in their quiet little corner, but like, Hey, if it works for you, like, great. So long as you come out and play well, but it seems like Sonnet is more full of the the gals that like to just kind of have a good time before the game. And the ones that, that are serious so are like letting the girls be in crazy too. You know what I mean? Like I feel like there's a perfect balance yeah. of I'm thinking yeah, of Jen, I'm thinking there. of Jenner a little bit. Like I'm like, I feel like she can well, she needs the seriousness before game, but then Jenner's the but she she does she's puts the, the cracks out. She she can yeah. have a good time too. Oh, yeah. 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 100%. <laughs> and I saw after Tampa I saw a couple posts. I think one was was generous, Jenny's, and I think maybe Niter. I love the nicknames too that Brandt. they give each other. Yeah, like a couple of the girls were posting about this sonnet, like that you guys have trauma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you would have trauma too if you haven't won in 112 days. <laughs> 
You're just gonna stay. There. She brings it back. <laughs> okay, there it is. <laughs> That's the trauma. I was gonna that, ask, like, yeah. you know, but you're going through it together. Hey, you know what? If you come out stronger on the other side of those experiences, it's a recipe. It's a recipe. Right. We know your success. strategy too now, so you know. There's there's a picture of Hannah Brandt when she scored oh, yeah. the overtime goal, or not the overtime. The em- sorry, the empty net empty goal. goal. But she, it is pure joy. She's like, yeah. I'm looking at. <laughs> And we're like, oh my God, we're on the bench. We're jumping we're like, holy oh, Abby's like, oh my God, let's go. Let's go. We look at the clock. There's a minute 30. We're like, oh, like it's not over. We get so <laughs> The lower Mac and Mac is like, guys, it's not over. We're like, okay, you're right. We're like freaking trap, 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 trap. <laughs> And it's uh, we won we won the game abby throws her gloves <laughs> <laughs> like it's a championship game she needed that win yeah but then we're all like happy we're all like happy like hugging and then we're all in like the huddle we're like holy shit like oh yeah, yes. you're, oh, i already did yeah but, you're fine um, she was like but then we were all like oh my gosh we're celebrating <laughs> our first win in 112 days and abby's like oh whatever so she grabs the puck tapes it up it's on its first win 112 days <laughs> <laughs> i love that just lean into it just lean into oh, it we have to build the momentum from that yeah yeah also well and you guys are like you said you're you're starting to <laughs> peak at the right time the trajectory is going up and you got two weekends left so as long as you guys can keep it you up know, play a perfect game in the last couple i think you're in a good position <laughs> yeah okay we have yeah i don't know if you're... some rapid fire questions for you Oh, Maybe we'll just I'm go back and forth. Yeah, you want to like do it. that? I like it. And don't feel the need to rush through your answers. Like if if this sparks a memory oh. or something that you want to talk about, feel I'll, free I'll to take the us first there. one. How ra- how no, rapid? Not that is. rapid. Like you, not really rapid. It's just it's more. It's less rapid and more like twenty one questions. Okay. Like okay. Let's sit around the campfire. Okay, and tell so let's go. Our favorite story. Vasco, first question. And I want to know this one, actually. If you ever got in trouble in school, what was it for? Think elementary school or like even college or anything? Yeah, like, what were all those teachers tell? I know they all about? showed up at your game and you seem to be a good student, but what yeah, did you get in trouble for? So I was for? a good student talking. <laughs> <laughs> like you're the kid that like raise yeah. your hand and say it, you know? Okay, sometimes... Okay, so sometimes I would know the answer and like I would pop my hand up like in elementary school or even in, like, yeah, so there's like five people in our university class, like he would like call on us. So I'd like put my hand up and then there was times where I was like, oh my God, someone else put their hand up. Like it's just, <laughs> you're the kid. You know the answer. <laughs> like you know the answer. Like I'd be like staring at them. I'd be like, come on, like raise it. Come on. <laughs> come on. You know, you know the answer. <laughs> Um, so then I'd be like, ah, oh, screw it. And I put my hand back up. Um, but then also like, you like, what's that noise in there? And I would be like, well, I'm talking. So you were the kid that like the teachers were like, anybody other than Alexa? <laughs> yeah. Like, because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <I love that. laughs> okay. That, that fits yeah. the mold too a little bit. I like that. Yeah. That's not a bad quality mm-hmm. to have. Okay. Do you have a guilty pleasure TV show that you're watching? Um, okay, so currently, right now, I'm watching Outer Banks, which is really good. Um, but I would say that I do love Grey's Anatomy. No, okay, that's I one I can rewatch yeah. and be fun with it. Grey's, yeah, so okay. good. An athlete that you'd like to meet? Oh, Serena Williams. Oh, okay. Easy. Yeah. Good answer. Easy, easy, easy. Good answer. Finish the sentence. When I was younger, I hated blank. Horses. I hate horses. <laughs> she closed her eyes and then came for it. Not the answer. Why horses? <laughs> what? I, like, my parents will tell you, my mom will t- I am terrified okay. of horses. I don't like okay. them. Like, I know you guys. No, it's fair. It's fair. I don't like, like, like birds. I'm going to step in and give you a little bit of a support here. Okay. See, I love birds. No, I, I lo- just don't. Like, like if they fly near birds, you, I'm like, I don't like it. What, no, is, like, what is it about horses that they're, they're just big and strong and majestic? Their head's way too big. They're, they're <laughs> Basketball. <laughs> I feel we could do a show just on that one. Oh okay, good. They're, like, they're so big and they have the power to just stomp on you if they wanted to. Fair. Okay. Fair. And I will never, ever get on one. Okay. Like, 
like I've looked at one in like a barn and I'm just like, you want to get me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is funny. I will say there there have been horror movies with like birds. Yeah. I've yet to see a horror movie with horses, but maybe coming up next. Anyone, if you want to make a horror movie with horses, I'm your girl. <laughs> yeah, you'd be scared to this and not even acting yeah, anymore. So, uh, yeah. Okay, if a song oh, played oh. every time you entered the room, what would it be? If a song played every time you entered a room, what would it be? Oh gosh, you really put me on. Cax, can you answer this one I feel for like, me? I feel like it would be like. Oh, it's definitely going to be a song that's like this. <laughs> I feel like Pitbull should, Pitbull should be in the mix. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say like a Kesha song. <gasps> oh, the party don't something. start till I walk in. <laughs> That's that there one. There you go. TikTok, let's go. 100%. Jesus. Cax, after this, I'm coming upstairs and I'm going to play that as I'm walking <laughs> Don't in. Do that. Just keep it on Spotify in your pocket and just boom every time oh you walk into a room. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's it. Yeah. yeah. This was this question was inspired because you're living in Montreal right now. Okay. And you may not have an answer. That's okay. What is your favorite word in another language? What the hell? Uh, um i don't know okay it's not like my favorite word but it's kind of funny so whenever when anyone would sneeze at mercier's like our coach would go instead of saying bless you it was kazoo night (laughs) (laughs) kazoo night (laughs) night. and we'd be like thank you and i'm like whoa what the hell did he just say so then like in like with my best friends at school like when anyone someone would sneeze like it's kind of like not making fun, but someone would sneeze and be like, yeah. Kazoon height. And be like, Thanks. Kazoon height. Anyways. I like that. I'm not sure I what language that is, but we'll I think accept that's, it. I think it's German for bless you, but I could be so wow. wrong. You know okay. who to we'll ask that for that to confirm yeah, this? Um, yeah. Okay. What is the best non-curse word? Like, uh, word insult, sorry. So what is the best non-curse word insult that you could use? Like, like if you're going to chirp like somebody, what would be insult something, somebody, but you can't swear. I can't do. I have to swear. No, you do the. You're, <laughs> you don't have but to say. Like on yeah, the ice, you don't like, have to. S- you can't swear. Like I've had, kid I had a teammate of mine looking at a girl on the ice with a minute left in the game and said, "Whoa, what are you doing here? Like, does your coach know where you're out here? This is scary." <laughs> and there's no like chirp or the thing, but I, we all lost it. The girl was panicking like on the ice, but like that's a chirp or something that you would say to someone. Like a non, I don't know, maybe like you're ugly or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I, I don't say that that's stuff. Tough. Like, that's not me. It's got right for the body image. I, I've, ha- I've heard some of this too. I'm kidding. And you have a big I'm nose. Not, like, okay. I'm not a, I, I'm not a trooper. Okay. Like, I don't, you stay quiet on the ice. You want to doze? You're just smiley on the ice. I feel you're just happy to be out there. Right? I just, I just, she's serious. Like, have a good I feel like she's serious on stuff, the ice. Like, I, oh, I, yeah. I feel like she, That's she's fun. dialed in. Let's like, uh, and then on the bench is fun. Okay. <laughs> Ugly. Okay. What is your favorite, like, lazy dinner? Like, you just don't feel like, you know, put in the work. What What's your lazy dinner? Oh, breakfast for dinner. Mm. Easy. Great answer. I like that. Great answer. Like that, that can hit so good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go with the second last, that, um, Noxie. Okay. We'll skip the cook okay. one. And then yeah. what is your favorite story to tell from hockey? What is like one of your favorite story to tell about that comes from like the locker room or a hockey experience or whatever from hockey? Oh, okay. Um, it's not, it was from when I was like super, super young. So it's not, <laughs> I love it's when you not go like back. funny. <laughs> no, it's not like a hilarious story, but it's kind of cute. Okay. Um, so I remember one of the games, uh, like I remember this vividly, house league, my, one of my first games with the boys, like they wouldn't pass it to Aww. me. And like, I'm clearly open. Nobody's <laughs> on me. And they wouldn't pass it to me. And I'm like in the back of the car. I'll never forget this. I'm like crying. I'm like, they dad like they won't pass it yeah. to me because i'm a girl like i do remember I had, like a p- pink tps stick and i'm whacking it i'm like give me the puck <laughs> and they're not giving me the puck so i'm bawling in the back seat of his truck and he was like well okay that sucks yeah like can't do anything about the stupid boys but he said if you want the puck you're gonna have to go get it yourself next game and i think something in my head like clicked i was like you're right like <laughs> 
you're right. I'll stop being a baby. Like I'm six or five or whatever. Um, so he said, if you like, if you want the puck, you have to go get it yourself. And then from that day on, um, this, this is a it's life a- lesson. If you want yeah, it, you got to go get it yourself. Won the championship, scored the overtime goal. So pass it to me. And yeah, the good thing happens. Like, eh? Hey, that. son it. Hey, team yeah. son it. Pass it to Vasco. Yeah. And good thing <laughs> Look out. Vasco's going to be stripping you of the puck next game. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Hillary Knight. That's my puck. I'm taking it. <laughs> my dad said so. <laughs> you can use that's your amazing. father that's good oh my god okay that's it that's a nice story mm-hmm. though yes yeah. that's, that's a good good moment good learning moment oh, i was saying this actually the other day to somebody uh i think it was at work we were talking about like the car ride mm-hmm. like the car ride as a young athlete is like the most important part of playing sports yeah. like having your parents yeah, but you not up. after the game though not after well, the game. It depends. It's got to be like supportive or anything. <laughs> like it's, it's too much pressure. It's too too much, you know. But any, okay, going to games then even like you know we're driving like yeah. one two hours away. Like you know your parents like that. Those are key. Those are like core memories that you make as a little kid. Just like so excited to play the game, and your parents are oh, yeah. you know talking to you about what you did good or maybe what you oh, did yeah. bad sometimes. Or like, if you want to go to Tim Hortons, let's get a Timbit. Like, I'm like, oh my yeah. God, I need 20. Yeah. Yeah. If you play well, you're going to get a spicy chicken for dinner. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Well, I definitely wouldn't choose that. I'd choose like, a box of Timbits <laughs> or something. He just called you out. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. I was a chunky kid. Okay. I, I wouldn't turn down a spicy chicken. I'm not afraid to admit it. Mm. Wendy's um, or McDonald's. Hey. When, Wendy's or McDonald's for spicy <laughs> chicken. Now, now Wendy's, but when I was a kid, McDonald's. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was a Wendy's gal. Number seven, homestyle chicken. If it's, you see? know it. Number six, spicy chicken. All day. God. Gax? No, no I, 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 Honestly, actually, I love St. Sebastian. That's a good one. <laughs> but um, I would go McDonald's and just the chicken, mac, the mac, mac chicken, whatever, for the longest yeah, time. I yeah. went for it. Not even spicy. Yeah, thing. Just went for it. It was good. So I do, we've got like maybe five minutes left. I want to get yeah. both your takes because we have the PWHPA award yeah. ceremony coming up this weekend. It's the first, first year we've done an awards, which is really exciting. I believe that there's prizes to be won, like monetary prizes to be won. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I want to get your take on some of these nominations. We'll start with the humanitarian award. And this is kind of a hard one because if you don't know all the players mm-hmm. and you're, you're new to the league, you're new to the association. So, um, but the humanitarian award is a award that's going to, in addition to outstanding hockey skills, the individual that promotes the sport of hockey through their community school and or other avenues. Do you have anybody in mind that you would have nominated for that? Not going to lie. No, <laughs> because I don't really know. I think fair. I, uh, like you said, fair I, answer. Yeah, that's good. I think it's hard because we don't like see what people do um, because we're not close to certain people or because it was a weird year. But uh, I do think that between Kendall Coyne and Sarah Nurse, um, we've got two big, 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 uh, great, you know, people that like are promoting the game uh, are promoting their communities as well too. We see the the whole like foundation behind the school field, uh, corn school field. Yep. You know, building the parks yeah. in Chicago and stuff like that. And then Nursey just being everywhere and uh also like promoting like uh black history like black history month right now that just ended and then any, you know, opportunity and being inclusive as a group and yeah. stuff. So I don't know. I feel like the both of them and there's probably more that I don't know enough about too. Yeah. But- I was going to go like even like Jill Sonnier, Blair Turnbull did a ton for Nova Scotia yeah. uh, when they had the the storms hit and, um, you know, their their foundations, their tournaments that they run to raise money for charity. Uh, I know Alex Carpenter is like highly involved in the community. Mm-hmm. She's like more of like a low key like she doesn't like the spotlight. Even, so she even Laura like, Stacy, I forgot about their uh, sticks. Laura Stacy stick yeah, tournament, right, yeah. like. I just feel like there's there's a lot of people that are doing a lot of good things and maybe that'll be a task for us this summer. It's just to kind of compile a list of events and, and organizations that people can donate to because we should promote yeah, this the on the, are, the, la- the next few episodes. Actually, that's a great idea, Maxi. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, we'll work on that. But I know it's going to go to somebody deserving. And like you said, Cax, like there's there's lots to yeah. choose from. So that's voted on by by the players and then decided on in the event of a tie. Um, by the committee. So we'll stay tuned on that. Now, goalie of the year, 
We've got from Team Sonnet, Nicole Hensley, from Harvey's and Renee Debian, from Adidas, Maddie Rooney, and from Scotia, Kristen Campbell Vasco. Who are you picking? Who do you think has earned the Goldie of the Year? Well, I'm just going to be biased since I'm on Team Sonnet. Um, Hensley's been standing on her head. Yeah. Like, yeah. every, <laughs> seems like almost every game. <laughs> She's standing on her head. Like it's, it's incredible. And some of the saves that she made, it was in Tampa, like two on one, like glove save, like it, like insane highlight reel, like highlight reel. Like I'm back checking, but not well. So I'm like, <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, um, Everyone's just doing their best out here. And I'm like, come on, Nick, you got this. It's like an open net. I'm like, Oh my gosh, I'm dash one, but she saved it. Um, oh, girl. Yeah. But then like, if, Playing against someone, we always get stonewalled by Soupy. She plays so well against yeah. us. I like, was gonna always, say, like, I was gonna say, like, I we have and Renee like gives always. great pre- performances and stuff, but um, I think that both Nicole and Cam Campbell are getting the most shots right now <laughs> at times. Like, yeah, there was one and, game. It was in Kitchener. We outshot them like forty two. Like we had a ton of shots. Yeah, and yeah. we couldn't get anything past her. I'm like, come on, Soupy, just let one in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd say. And then of course, as you mentioned, Cax, like Debian has been stellar. Also, she's got great numbers. And Maddie Rooney, like I feel for her a little bit in this situation because she's on a team with four goalies. So yeah. inherently she's going to get less starts mm-hmm. than the other three, mm-hmm. but she's still also putting up good numbers, playing good hockey. So yeah. that one will be a tight race. Next up, we have <laughs> Defender of the Year from Harvey, Savannah Harmon, from Scotiabank, Ella Shelton, from Harvey's again, Lee Steckline, and from Scotiabank again, Megan Keller. So we're in a Harvey Scotiabank race here. Defender of the Year, Vasco, you've played against these girls. Who are you choosing for Defender of the Year? <sighs> See, I don't know. That one's tough. Because I would say, like, all these girls are amazing. Like, oh, she's going for Renata is so yeah. Renata is so hard to play against. Honorable mention. Like, there you go. Like so hard. Okay. Like, so you're you're stepping up the list. And you're going with okay. Yeah, I like it. Like, yes. We're well, gonna call the like, committee right now and let them know. Yeah, go ahead. But like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're right. No, I just think she's. I think she's so hard to play against. She's like she's fast as heck. She's gritty. Like yeah, she's like tough dirty. to play against. Like, she hurts when you're in front of the net. Like, she, hurts. <laughs> she hurts. It hurts. Yeah, like I'll get on the ice. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not even like near her. I'm like, oh gosh, like oh gosh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but I guess like, back from the corner and you're in front of the net. Get your ribs ready because, like, it's one of those that you're just like, I flex. Ah. I'm like, I'm yeah. flexing. And it's okay. You just, you do not want to stand in front of Nana when she's out there. So that's a just the rock fast thing. So you know it's coming from yes. both sides. So yeah, it's yeah. tough. But I will say, uh, Defender of the Year, if we stick to that, I personally, and it's maybe I'm biased, but playing with Savannah Harmon this year and knowing yes, her game, I, I think she is yesterday. one of the, you know, uh, like underrated before yeah. I actually started playing with her where I see all the little things that she does well. Um, and then on top of it, I think she's young. I think her pat, like she's peaking now, right? Like Clarkson too. We had her on the show, like her pat was totally different and she's just been killing it. Just feels like she's like, I don't know. Gaining momentum. Yeah. I, this year and from yeah. last year and stuff. But yeah, if we have to watch one girl, number 15, Savannah Harmon on team Harvey's, I think. Here, here. Yeah, I think she's and then coach of the year. This is like kind of a diplomatic nomination. We got each of the coaches. Mm-hmm. So Corey Chevry on Team Harvey's, Dean Seymour for Scotiabank, Laura McIntosh for Sonnet, and Matt Leitner for Adidas. I don't think I can ask you guys who you want to vote because it's kind of like a biased opinion. So we'll just leave yeah. that one to the crowd. Yeah. Um, for forward of the year, Blair Turnbull. <laughs> this is a very Scotiabank heavy yeah, seriously. lineup from Scotiabank. Blair Turnbull, Alex Carpenter, and Rebecca Johnson. And then from Team Harvey's, Marie-Philippe Poulain. I'm kind of disappointed there's no one from Sonic on this list. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be honest. When we're calling in for Renata um, Fast's edition, we're also going to say Alexa yeah. Vasco. No, um, I think, yeah, that lineup is just stacked. <laughs> um, but I think... <laughs> When I play against her, I notice Johnny. Johnny has my Johnny yeah. has my vote. I mean, you can't vote against 
poo, but yeah. like I am. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You are. I, I said this the other day, yeah. like, and I mean this in the like highest amount of respect possible. The fact that Johnny is playing more like poo than poo is playing like poo at times is like, I think that like this is just a side of Johnny that we haven't seen. Yeah. Like a consistently playmaker. in the last couple of years, it's like like her season right now is in, like it's been insane. Like, so she'll just sick. be on the ice. I'm like, can you stop? <laughs> like she's bringing those and, like, speed. She's bringing that like the playmaking. Everything oh, is there yeah. this year. You're right. Yeah. Maybe she's connecting yeah. with her teammates too or Lainey's. But yeah, I think uh, yeah, I will. I will say that I'm biased. <laughs> yeah. But the fact that she is on our team, I always. Think that we can win any. <laughs> I also think that, it's like, one of those Bet. that just turns it on, like even a notch yes. higher whenever it's needed. So, oh, yeah. And we've 100%. seen it and everything. And sometimes I'm like losing, but then Jesse gets the goal, like by the, the head of the goalie in Ottawa and everything. And, you know, okay, we have relax. some. That was against Sonnet. Yeah. That was against Sonnet. <laughs> and that could have been your win, like way and closer. See, that's trauma. That's <laughs> trauma. That's, that's where the true. trauma comes true, from. True, true, true. But I think those opportunities are. You know, she can take the like she can take the team and bring it there. So I have to say that. It. Yeah, I have yeah. to say please go. There's no, there's no arguing. <laughs> Can't have to go with. I'm not. Yeah. I'm like liking her. Like yeah, she's she should be. If not Johnny, like I think those two are really really good. And even yeah. the two others, like everyone's been having like a phenomenal year out of this yeah. group. So maybe they'll share it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nah, I'm excited for that show though. So there's an award, yeah. right? Right. We're going to be talking about DC here, but um, Washington Capitals are hosting this entire event and at dinner time and everything, and we'll be rewarding these players. So I think it's pretty yeah, it's amazing. Really cool too. And like the thing I like about it is that this is not open to like media mm-hmm. or there's no like tables to be bought. This is not a show for the public. Yeah. It's literally like a good chance for the PWHPA get in the same room, dress up, maybe have a cocktail or two and just give out these awards and just kind of reflect on the air. So uh, as you said, Cax, I'm really looking forward to it. I know the Washington Capitals are excited to host it. Mm -hmm. There will be a red carpet. So, you know, wear your best outfit. Alex, you got to get an outfit for it. (laughs) Are you going to rock the Tampa wear again? Yeah, I'll I'll bring the the Vipers for sure. (laughs) There you go. That's what we love to see. And if you're in D.C. or you're looking for a weekend road trip, you don't want to miss out on the PWHPA Secret Dream Gap Tour hosted by the Washington Capitals this weekend. This is by far one of my most favorite experiences from last year. And I know that the Capitals organization is looking to go bigger and better this year. (laughs) Game times are 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. on both Saturday and Sunday. So those are your game times. Starting us off is Team Harvey's versus Team Adidas. And then you can catch Alexa Vasco on her as her sonnet takes on Scotiabank in the afternoon. That's on Saturday. Schedule tickets, merchandise, and more all on PWHPA website and <laughs> at PWHPA social platforms. We want to thank you for listening to Tweet. Vasco, you were fantastic. Thank you so much. You guys can join us next Friday. I think it's time for a stats with Cax. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe it is. Vasco, you I'm better score. You better score a couple so I can point you out in there. You know, so okay, get sounds it going. Good. Thanks for having me, guys. This is so much fun. Thanks for oh, coming on fantastic. our show. It was fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys next week. The Noxie and Cax Show on SDPN, produced in partnership with the PWHPA and presented by Sports Interaction. Want to bet? Follow Noxie and Cax on Twitter at 27Noxie and at CareLMArt. The views expressed are those of the individuals and are not necessarily those of the PWHPA. Check out SDPN.ca for more Noxie and Cax and the rest of the SDPN crew. She's gone!